Well, look what we found. We came to see the baby hippo, and there's a leopard sitting watching the baby hippo. It's up on the tree. I don't know who it is. I think it's Kuchava. Maybe not. Maybe it's Tamba. I can't see nicely. All I've seen is the tail. And who are you? Is it Hosanna? Oh, hello, boy. It is you. So, Hosanna, trust him to be messing around with baby hippos. Boy, you can't do that with baby hippos. No. Hippos are not for you yet. You are too small to be playing around with a baby hippo. But there we go. He's going to come and drink. Now I'm just going to try and get in front of him so that we can get his kind of face as he's drinking. He should be absolutely beautiful when he kind of gets around the side. But that's amazing. So from one boy to another, Tumbo was here a few days ago and now well we've got our other little male that's also been around so we, the boys are absolutely spoiling us these days we're getting the most ridiculous sightings of both of them and he has found himself the perfect place to have a little drink he's still itching like crazy though which is a bit of a kind of thing every time I see him I see he's kind of itching you see look how he's watching that baby hippo he's just checking it out just to see what's going to go on like I say, Tom, you can't eat that. Is it Hosanna? Yes, it is Hosanna. Looks like him. So I don't know what he's doing up the tree looking at that baby hippo. He's got no chance whatsoever. With mom around, he's going to have a really tough time of it. Now the baby hippo obviously doesn't probably realize what danger it's in at all. Now Hosanna also probably thinks that this is something he can go after. It's small, but he probably has never crossed a female hippo when she's upset and trying to protect her calf. The thing is, for us, this is not ideal because if she comes charging out, we don't really have anywhere to go either and she'll just turn her attention on whatever she feels is threatening her. So I'm hoping that we're not going to get a situation where she's going to chase after us. Shame boy, are you scratching a lot? Doesn't look comfortable. Every time I've seen him in the last month, he's been scratching. I wonder if maybe he's just got a little bit of kind of fleas or maybe even a little bit of mange that starts. It does happen from time to time and it's that dry season period so you might get it but it's just around the one ear so he's on his right ear that it's a little on the itchy side and he's scratching a little bit but that'll be okay. As long as he keeps grooming himself like this, looking after himself, feeding, he's going to be absolutely fine. But what a surprise that was and what a kind of worthwhile treat just to come behind this damn wall. Now I always say that behind this damn wall leopards love it and we've been behind here now three times in three days and we've had leopards twice in those three times so it's absolutely amazing how much the leopards love this section now before we kind of get into Hosanna properly there's two things I want to show us quickly first is the fish eagle right on top I don't know if it's got something in its talons it looks like there might be something or is it just the tree no it's just the tree but it looks really beautiful in that golden light so it's watching the leopard the leopard's watching the baby hippo so it's just a whole bunch of things all together here and the other thing that I wanted to show you because the fish eagle is beautiful as it is I don't want to lose Hosano if he starts moving the other thing is Senzo do you see a little white spot in the tree itself so where the hippo is just to the right if you go straight in from where you are now into that sort of area over there a little bit to your left a little bit to your left there it is in that top corner so you'll see a white spot in the tree in the top corner. Now that's the first of the foam nests for a tree frog that I have seen as yet. Is it a foam nest or is it a feather? Oh no, it's a feather. I thought it was a foam nest. It looked just like a foam nest on the tree, but it's a feather, maybe from the white crowned, I mean black crowned heron. Now it seems as though I've been giving Taylor trouble about her eyes all afternoon, but I might need to have a little sort of look at my own <laughs> as we go on. In all fairness, it's all too exciting for me. I'm too excited to really look properly. And I thought it might be a foam nest, and I was hoping it would be a foam nest, but it seems not to be. So Hassan is just taking it easy. He's just watching the little baby hippo. Baby hippo is playing with mom and is not really too worried about what's going on. I suppose I wouldn't be worried too if I had a two-ton mom with big teeth that was going to protect me from anything that came this way. So I don't think Hassan has got any chance whatsoever. Now who are you chasing? You can't chase the Egyptian geese as well. That's ridiculous. You must... <laughs> Hosanna, you are another story. I do love these two boys. They are both equally comical and equally entertaining. They both love to chase things around and love to be kind of in the vo involved in action. And any bird that's flying, Hosanna is looking at. Any kind of dove that comes over, Egyptian goose, baby hippo, fish eagle. I think he doesn't actually know where to look at this stage. I think he's a bit kind of 
perturbed as what's going on and where he needs to kind of focus in order to be able to see what's happening. So, <laughs> poor boy. It must be tough when you're a young man and you've got lots to kind of look for. Now I'm just going to try and edge forward for Senzo so you can get a little bit more of his face and be able to just kind of see his body a little bit better. There we go, Senzo. I think that might be a little bit better of angle than what we had just now. But how wonderful is this? It's a little oasis and it's been an absolute treat for us over the last few days. We've I've so loved the fact that we have signal down in this area. It's been really a rich reward for us coming and checking here the last few days. We've had so many amazing things to witness and show you guys. So what a surprise. Now, Hosanna, I wonder if you are going to try your luck any further. At one point, as we arrived, he was in the tree. looked as though he was going to pounce on this baby hippo because the baby hippo was away from the mom. And then I think the mom saw him and kind of reared up. And that's what alerted me to a leopard in the tree. And that's maybe why he's now come back down. It looked like he might pounce on top of, the, of this little baby. But I think now he's realized, no, with mom being here, there's no chance for me to be able to do that. But I'm so excited that we managed to find him. It's really cool. So I believe the baby hippo has now been affectionately named Boo because it was found on Halloween, which I quite like. I think that's a great name for our hippo. Hopefully it's not going to be a big male because Boo the big male will not be in the best. Now, I suppose actually it's not too bad, particularly if he's a grumpy male. I think it will actually be okay if he's a grumpy guy. But we'll have to kind of watch as we go along. We'll have to find some way of IDing Boo. We'll have to find some sort of marking or pattern or something that gives it away as to what actually we, how, how we can identify Boo in the future when he's in the Chitra Dam with all the others and we'll be able to know it's him. It's amazing, it's just flopping about and just playing around with mom and every time it moves around, Hosanna watches and kind of looks. Right, we're not going to go anywhere, well why would you when we've got leopard, fish eagle and baby hippos all together. So while we kind of sit here and enjoy the sighting and enjoy the oasis that is behind Chitwa Dam Wall, let's go across to Taylor McCurdy who seems to be having an absolutely wonderful afternoon and I'm flabbergasted to hear that she has lion cubs.